Mr. John Sword. My name is Tachibana. I'm a sophomore who moved out of home to go study in college. The area that I live in is pretty far off into the countryside. If you travel a little bit, you can make it to the oceans and mountains in no time. My hometown was full of nature too, so I felt really comfortable. And now, it was summer vacation. It was impossible not to be excited. Ugh, I love it! The blue skies and blue ocean waters. That's how summers should be. You think so too, right Tokusa? I don't have plans to go to the ocean at all. Seriously? You weirdo. Are you calling me a weirdo when you're the one who's past 20 and still running around with a bug net trying to catch beetles? Shut up! I just want to make sure that I don't forget to embrace my inner child from time to time! This is my childhood friend, Tokusa. We've been in the same school since elementary school, and even now in college. We've got our differences in personality, sure, but we get along well now. Besides, didn't you say that you like to go bird watching? You've got that really big fancy camera. What's the difference between that and bug collecting, huh? I'm just trying to observe wild birds. I'm not like you where I just want to run around like some kind of ape in the mountains. A ape?! You can call me an ape if you want. It's fun running around in the mountains, to be honest with you. I can't do that this year, though. Talk about bad luck, huh? I can't believe you'd break your leg on the first day of summer break. It's gonna take a month till you heal up, right? Yeah, this seriously sucks. What did I do to deserve this, God? Normally, summer break is full of fun events and things to do, but I have to spend my days in a bed because my leg is about to fall apart. It's actually pretty darn stressful. By the way, did they not catch him yet? The guy who hit you in the car? Yeah, apparently not. The reason that I broke my leg was because someone hit me and drove away. I was out looking for beetles like I normally do, when I got hit from behind by a car in the middle of the night. That horrible hit-and-run suspect hasn't been found or caught yet. It was in the middle of the mountain, so it's not like they have cameras or anything, you know? I couldn't get a good look at the license plate number either, so... Do you at least know what kind of car it was? I remember it was a white van. It was kind of dimly lit up in the moonlight, but that's not enough to go off of, you know? The police are asking for anyone to help out if they know anything. But I'm probably the only person that actually managed to catch a glimpse of the car. I see. <sighs> I wish that guy would just show up and turn himself in! But of course that kind of thing wouldn't just happen. Before I knew it, a month had come and gone. <sighs> this sucks. My legs are all good now, and I have a full recovery. But I've only got a few weeks until summer break is over. This sucks. Hmm? Coming! Yo! Oh, hey Tokusa! What's up, man? I want to show you something. Can I borrow your laptop real quick? Huh? Sure. Hmm? It's the road where you were a victim of a hit and run. Huh? But they said there were no cameras in the area! Yeah, that's why I went to record it. I had a tripod, video cameras, the whole nine yards for recording wild birds. Huh? But why would you do that? because I figured that the person would probably drive through there again. What if they use that road to get to and from work or something? They'll have to come again eventually, right? I did it fully expecting not to catch anyone, though. I knew that there was no way that I would actually manage to get anything out of it. But then, well, take a look for yourself. What? See this car? It's the same type and color as the car that you were describing to me. It really is. I actually recorded over the span of a few days, just in case. I've started to get the time and day that this car travels through this particular patch of road. I thought maybe I could get the license plate number, but it looks like my camera wasn't good enough because the plate number is blurred. It's been cloudy and dark every time I see this car too, so it's difficult to actually see with my eyes. I see. But this must have been pretty difficult, right? Setting up the camera and staking out the location? Why did you do all of that? My childhood friend had his important summer break taken from him. I want to figure out where the criminal is, and make sure he gets what's coming to him. You... you lovely, lovely friend! Ah, dude, get off me! It's already hot as is! So, what do you want to do? I figured out what time the guy drives through the area, 
so we could just go there with flashlights or something and get the license plate number. We could do that, but something about that plan worries me. I feel like he's probably just going to pretend he doesn't know what I'm talking about anyway. Hmm. If we could just get him to confess, that would be the best thing to do. Ah! I got it! You have a plan? Yeah. Hear me out. Hmm? Dude, are you being serious? I'm dead serious! Doesn't it seem like it would work out perfectly? I don't know. Alright. Well, here we go then. We're coming for you, criminal scum! I'm going to catch you this time! I'm so worried. Ah, uh, work is so tiring, man. Why do I have to work on a hot day like this anyway? I was completely zoned out the last time I came back from work, so I ran into someone too. I'm glad the police didn't show up at my door asking me about it though. It's in the middle of nowhere, and I'm sure there aren't many cameras in the area, if any. I'm positive I'm in the clear now. I changed the road that I take to and from work right after the crash, but it's way too far to continue doing. Mm hmm? What's that? Oh yeah, I hit that guy around here too. But those flowers? Huh? No way. That's impossible. Nope, I, I just gave him a little love tap is all. Uh, hmm? What's going on? Is everything okay? Oh, uh, I just came by to put some flowers here, you know? My friend died here. Died? Yeah. He was hit and run by a car, actually. The car hit him, and he fell over because he was in so much pain that he smacked his head into the ground and he just... Is something wrong? You're turning blue. Uh, oh, no! Uh, nothing at all! Okay, then. But I feel pretty bad for the person who hit him, too. What do you mean? Well, that criminal hasn't been caught yet, but the family of my friend who died is flipping every rock and every leaf to find the person who did it. He was actually the heir to a Yakuza family. Ah! His whole family is furious right now. I'm sure they're going to use every trick in the book, and outside the book, to find the person who did this. What do you think's gonna happen after they find him? I'm sure that person's going to die. They'll be lucky if they make it fast. The truth is, I'm pretty sure they're going to do unspeakable torture to him or her to kill their heart and soul before ever actually taking their life. But I mean, I'm sure the person who did it can save themselves if they want. Hmm? What do you think that person should do? The only way out is by talking to the police and being placed into protective custody. They'll have to confess to everything they've done and actually feel some kind of remorse for what they've done. But... I see. Basically, they have to turn themselves in. Alright. It looks like it's going well. Of course, Tokusa's story is about as real as Hogwarts. We just made it up to terrify and shock the perp, to make him feel overwhelmed with guilt before turning himself in. I'm here just in case the perp decided to go crazy, but he looks kind of weak, so I'm sure Tokusa would be able to handle him alone anyway. I'm just gonna go look at the license plate number, just in case. Hmm? Ah! That beetle! It's freaking huge too! Maybe it's God's gift to me, because I wasn't able to enjoy summer break at all! Alright, time to catch it! Huh? Are you okay? You look like you've seen a ghost or something. Uh, I, actually... go! Wait, Tokusa, where'd that guy go? You know, we should probably call the cops and ask them to bring an ambulance too. That's how the spook plan damaged the hit and run perp a lot more than I had ever anticipated. I would have been totally fine with the guy just turning himself in, but one bad event led to the next, and he ended up falling down the mountain, breaking his legs pretty badly on the way down. As for what happened to him since... Excuse me, I'm Hiragi from Etra PD. You must be Akamatsu-san. Yes, that's me. I'm the guy who hit and run. I really didn't expect the man who committed the crime to show up a month later to turn himself in. Uh, I've had a change of heart. 
I didn't realize that the victim was dead, so I just felt like I kind of bonked him a little bit. Huh? Your victim's not dead. What? I'm saying that the man you hit is totally fine. He broke his leg, but he's made a full recovery and has no complications. Huh? What? Then, what did I see? What? What the hell is going on? Was I hallucinating or something? But, but I'm so glad that he's fine. No one died because of me. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, he's crying. And as for me, you really are something else, man. Tachibana. <laughs> you don't have to compliment me like that, man. I'm not complimenting you. Why are you in the hospital again anyway? Well, they wanted to run some tests on me. I banged my head pretty good on that tree trunk. I'm sure I'll be led out of the hospital soon enough. Oh, but anyway, can we go catch some beetles tomorrow? I found a super huge beetle the other night and- You're not going to be leaving the house until that injury on your head is completely healed up. Ah! But- ひき逃げさえしなければこんな怖い目に遭うこともなかったでしょうにそういう事故を起こさないことが一番ですが万が一起きてしまったとしてもきちんと責任を取ることが大切ですそもそも車は便利ですが凶器になり得ることをちゃ